Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, this is the third video in the series where we're looking at five difficult questions. Please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, or you can download the whole worksheet from 3 Minute Maths. This is the first video where we're going to look at solving algebraically y equals x plus 3 and also the other x minus 3 squared plus y squared equals 50. So basically what we're saying is if we've got a value of y equals x plus 3, then we can take that value and put it directly directly into the second equation. So rather than writing y squared, I can write x plus 3 squared. So as I um, add the information in, I can just write it out simply as this. So I've got x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3 and that equals 50. And then really it's just a case of solving for this uh, value of x. So therefore if I look at the first uh, two uh, terms here, x times x is going to give me x squared and then I've got minus 3x minus 3x is minus 6x and then I've got minus 3 times minus 3 is going to be positive 9 and then I do exactly the same for the second two terms so I'm going to get x squared in this case then plus 6x plus 9 and that all equals 50. Okay so let's just tidy this up a little bit. Well I've got x squared plus x squared is going to give me 2x squared. I've got minus 6x and positive 6x will cancel themselves out. Then I get plus 18 and that equals 50. So really it's a case of then solving for x. So if I minus 18 from both sides I'm going to get 2x squared equals 32. Then I'm going to divide through by 2 and I'm going to get x squared equals 16. So therefore the square root of 16 gives me a value of x being positive 4 or negative 4. And then taking those two values of x I can put it directly back into y equals x plus 3. So I can write when x equals positive 4 y equals x plus 3, so therefore y equals 7. So that's my first two values. And then my second two values are going to be when x equals negative 4, y equals x plus 3, so therefore y must equal negative 1. And that would be the answer to this particular question. I hope you found it useful. Please do let me know in the comments how you got on, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Okay, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.